Okay, we're in a small ballroom today. So, first thing we're gonna do is we find power. We have main power here. Took another one off of the wall over there. Most likely they're separate circuits. So this rack goes on the back line power. This rack gets its own power. We're not gonna drive anything hard enough to make a difference. Lighting plugs in usually back line power, doesn't matter where. These are all LEDs, so they don't matter. They're not gonna take anything. A couple of points I wanna show you. Uh, when we do our lighting, electrical tape on the cable top, electrical cable at the bottom cleans things up. When we do our subs and tops, electrical tape, electrical tape, we want our eyes to gloss over this quad box and now disappear. <clears throat> we don't have to see it, that's good. Four wedges. And a stage stringer that goes around. Usually throw a mover on top of the sub. This is a 16 by 12 stage, which is the minimum minimum size that we get. A couple of things. Drum wedge, SD16, and the snake box will do right there. We don't have any instruments upstage, so there's no snake or power run upstage, but there is a quad box close to each lighting tree. So you get power for that. Boxes are all passive. Everything's passive. <clears throat> this is our AES cable. So we have an X32 rack with uh, AES-A going into AES-A. AES-B goes to the stage box. We have a Wi-Fi router. This is for Wi-Fi router lives in this rack. Connects to the X32 right here. You can also connect the drive rack there. So we have eight channels of eight channels of monitor world stereo. Down the front. Here's our mixer. We have our routing today. Varies by gig, so there's our inputs on the AES A side. Drive rack coming out uh, channel 15, 16 is on the back of this rack. Coming in right here to the drive rack, splits it into stereo triumph. Sub and sub mid highs. Maybe this is highs, I can't remember. And the uh, second pair of amplifiers is connected to outputs 13 and 14 to drive fills. So that's what we got. Nothing special there. This is our DMX lighting. We're taking two outputs. One goes to each tree, uh, each set of trees. This will be going to the upstage. This will be going to the downstage trees. And now uh, they just stay the chain. So then we have four channels of wireless mic. We're gonna wire these in the park spot. Today we're going to use, this will, this will be inputs 9 through 16 on the board, 13 through 16. These are your eight outputs, you don't have to do anything with this, very easy. <clears throat> so what else we got? I think that's everything. Everything runs off of preferably three circuits, but we have two today because of the room is small. I don't know what we have. Here's our console running mixing station, lighting running uh, luminaire, and this is preset specifically to this set of lights. I think that's all I got. So, should be good to go. Basically, we're trying to keep this stage area clean and clear of cables. So people can run around, jump, and do whatever they want to do. I take all my shorties and wrap them together. 
So we'll catch the back line off the first eight channels or so. That's what I got. There's a DJ that'll tie in at some point. Small room. What else we got? That's it.